All right, Christoph, firstly, tell me, you know, where the journey began, you know, growing up, did you, was it always track and field or you did other sports as well growing up before you entered high school? Well, growing up, the first sport I actually played was cricket. I remember, I remember, I remember, um, that was the first sport my father taught me how to play. I was living in a small apartment, in a small walk, and we was just playing cricket. That's really what started, what got me started. Okay. And from cricket to playing football, you know, in the neighborhood, you know, the boys are always playing football. Yeah, that's so. so like the heights that you have now, did you have it from when you were in your early teens or you just had one summer where you just shut up? Yeah, it was just one summer I just shut up. A huge growth spirit. It was probably um first form, first form, second form, that summer. I just shut up. Yeah. All right, great. And now coming into to Wilmers now and, and taking on, you know, track and field, you know, what led you in the direction towards the the jumps? Was it a coach? Was it your passion? How did you end up in the direction of jumping? I did jumps from prep school, actually. I remember um, I actually won the prep champs and then I did the GS at pass for Wilmers. You know, Mr. Cameron was the coach at the time. He was telling me, he was recruiting me to come to Wilmers, come to Wilmers, come to Wilmers. But I ended up passing there, passing for there. So I just went. But actually in prep school, I actually wanted to be a sprinter. I wanted to be a sprinter. And I tell you, I, I, I've only told a couple of people about this story, but I, I had a best friend who was doing track and field at the same time as well. And he was a bit chubby. So I remember we were training and he was always beating me, beating me. And from that day, I just didn't go back. That was like grade four. So like in grade five, I was like, I just, I didn't go back to training. I think we were doing track and field in PE and they had high jump. So that's where the coach was like, you know, you should come to training. This was a new coach. So they were like, you should come to training and you should, you should see how you go for the high jump. And then that's where it started like grade five and then we just kept going kept going one prep champs fast forward miles continued from there okay and your first experience at champs was it 2010 when you won the title or was it a little before that my first experience was 09 i didn't actually compete i went as a reserve but my first time actually competing at champs was 2010 when we won last three <laughs> Okay, and what was that experience like, you know, seeing the crowd, the atmosphere, the maroon, you know, having Dwayne Nextel, Julian Ford, Jahil Hyde, what was that synergy like as a team? Oh, that was just amazing. That was the whole team. It was the camaraderie of the whole team. Everyone, it was like a big brotherhood. Like, everyone just felt like brothers. We're all together. We were, we were all working on a common goal, you know, to win champs. That was everything, even though we had some some of the athletes playing football or whichever sport. At the end of the day, it was just champs. Like, we just knew that that year it was just our year for champs, for sure. But it was great. Um, I think the finals that year for the class team was on the Thursday, so it wasn't as that much people in the stands, but, you know, it was still on TV or there were still people in the crowd. So, yeah, but compared to, like, the later latter years, it wasn't. But it was a good start, though, for sure. And the experience that you had at Champs, would you say it prepared you for life, you know, representing your country, competing overseas? Was Champs, would you say, a good um, preparation for that? Yeah, for sure. If you can compete at Champs, I feel like you can compete anywhere. I mean, I've competed at international meets. I've competed at NCAs. Nothing compared to Champs. Just the whole crowd atmosphere. And then for me personally, you know, the high jump was like everyone was kind of focused on the high jump at the time. So you had the whole the whole stadium clapping, supporting a chain for you. So I feel like once if you can compete at champs, you can compete anywhere at a real and true. You know, what are your thoughts about, you know, jumping in Jamaica right now? You know, a lot of attention maybe a decade ago was on the track, but now a lot of attention in the field events now. What are your thoughts about the jumping events for Jamaica, especially the vertical? jumps oh i love it i love it i mean i was i always complain that the, the jumps don't get enough love you know 
I'm still a fan of the sprinting for sure, but I wish we could get more attention on the jumps because if you look at the recent NCAA championship, we won the men and the men and women high jump. We won that. We won the and we won the long jump. We also won the triple jump for men. Yeah, we won. So I mean, that's just that just goes to show that we're a lot deeper. So I mean, if we just pay attention to um. Not pay attention, but give more attention to the jumps. The sprints are already there. That's that's covered. Show more attention to the jumps. I feel like Jamaica in the future, going forward, we can compete with the likes of US or Russia for the like the team championship because there's the athletes are are putting out world like world world best like good good performances like higher level performances. I feel like. We just keep going, just keep building. We can be competing for like the like the team championship. And we're gonna reflect on a moment that was exactly 10 years ago. You know, you're breaking a record at champs. It was March 16, 2013. So just a shade over 10 years ago, you breaking a record at champs. You know, do you remember that jump in particular? You remember the preparation leading into champs 2013 to be able to have that that was that was first year class one. Yeah. Oh, that... yeah. I remember that year with the whole tear in the shirt and all that madness. Um, the whole idea going into that, going into champs that year was was just to break the record, really and truly. I believe that year I had competition from Demar Demar Robinson, and he didn't get to compete that year. I, I was I was sad about that because I know me and him pushing each other that year. We, the record would have been higher, even though I came back and broke, broke it the next year. But I mean, it was still fun. It was always fun. The champ for me was just always fun. It was no no pressure. No, it was just for me to just go there and have fun with it, really and truly. That's good. That's a great experience that you shared. And I mean, you know, upon reflection now, you know, the journey that you have taken so far, 2023, it's a big year ahead, as you know, World Champ, CAC, Panam. What are some of the goals you have in mind for this year, 2023? Well, my goals, my goals for the year is to be on all of those, all three of those teams. I, you know, I've dealt with some injuries in the past, you know, that's behind me now. It's all about just getting stronger in the gym, just working on new stuff. I mean, at MVP, they have a good system there that that they work on in terms of like in terms of treatment we have. They're really precautionary about stuff over there, so I'm in a really good place right now. So it's just about keep working harder, keep working, working harder, just being smart. I wasn't in the past. I wasn't smart about dealing with certain injuries so now it's just being smart and just keep going all right and like for you as a professional are you somebody that like looks at clips of other athletes and see what bits you can take from them or are you focused on yourself and your personal growth oh no i for sure take bits and pieces of other athletes what they're doing like even the other night i was just up just looking at videos from by shame and then you know people have been there done that competed at the highest level and i mean you can never know too much so i'm always studying if you if you if you may always studying other at least see what they do see what i can improve on for you growing up was there like a, a jamaican jumper that stood out to you or somebody that you looked up to in that aspect a jumper, not necessarily. But I always knew about Jeremy Mason because he went to Wilmers and you know he has the national records and all of that. But, I mean, not necessarily look up to, but you know, I set his marks as targets for myself. Okay, this is I want to break this, I want to break this that record. You know, stuff like that. And and finally, Christoph, you know, what advice would you give to those athletes that are preparing for champs, going to champs next week, you know, advice that you would give to them who will be competing in the five-day championship? My advice to them would be just to go there and have fun. No pressure. It's, it, it, it's a big celebration of track and field. You know, everyone is going to be on TV. Just do your best and have fun. No pressure at all. 
Yeah, well said, well said. Christoph, thanks for your time. We really appreciate it. You know, keep up the great work and, you know, all the best for the season that lies ahead. All right, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. All righty then, take care. We'll be in touch. All right, cool. All right, cool, Thomas. Yeah, man.